video today just to encourage some of the girls who have contacted me on Facebook and on my website about options of becoming who they've always wanted to be. And because they're considering committing suicide, for me that is heartbreaking because I've been there and our young people considering committing suicide because of rejection from the society and the family and because they could not achieve what they've always wanted to. Many trans people who are going through that change don't have the luxury of support from family or friends. In the beginning, it was very difficult before I started my transition. I tried to commit suicide twice. I felt that I was not right. I felt confused, I felt lost. The Bible says differently and I was living differently. And I just felt like there was something wrong with me because the society says I was wrong and the Bible says I was wrong. It took me a few years leaving Nigeria and opening my eyes and doing my research. I don't have to live by the Bible to know right from wrong. I don't need a religion to tell me or anybody telling me how to live my life. I am intelligent enough to know evil and good. We as human beings are inbuilt to know that when we're doing wrong and to know when we're doing right. And for me, as a transgendered woman, I don't see anything wrong with me. The only thing that was wrong with me was I was born differently, but now I've had it fixed medically. And having yourself fixed medically, it's like having a mole or having a cancerous piece on your arm and having it removed because you don't feel comfortable with it. As a human being, we should be allowed to live freely, independently, and comfortably in our own skin and be happy for who we are instead of changing ourselves to please society. You are wonderful, you are beautiful, you are strong enough to fight the rejection, fight what everybody is saying to you negatively. Don't be afraid to take that step and don't be afraid to live your life freely and openly as the woman you are or the man you are. Don't end your life because of the hate and the rejection. Don't end your life because you look in the mirror and what you see is completely different from what you feel. You need to be strong and you need to be determined to achieve that end goal. I'm just happy that I, I didn't commit that suicide and I'm here to encourage you that life gets better and you may think you are alone in this world, but you're not. There are so many of us. Many people are still prejudiced and closed-minded about who we are and where we're coming from because they don't have the right education and the right understanding of where we're coming from. Our life history, although builds the path to where we're going, it should not define our future. Our life history should just be there to mold us and keep us in place as we forge ahead towards that final goal. And it's such a shame that we have such beautiful hearts and we are normal people like anybody walking down the street. The difference is the fact that we're born with a birth defect. And all we ask and all we wish for is being accepted as a normal human being and be treated like any normal human being. Calling us names and harassing us and beating us up or trying to make us feel bad about ourselves and rejecting us doesn't help. It just, you just want us to disappear, but it's not gonna happen because we're here. We're part of you. We are your brothers, we're your sisters, we are your cousins. You know, we are one of you. All right, so I'm gonna go and I want to wish you all a beautiful day and remember our brothers and sisters who have passed on and to encourage those of you who are considering leaving us to please, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. You know, you have such an amazing life ahead of you. You're young, you have so much going for yourself. And I find it quite alarming the number of you that have contacted me about how difficult it is for you to transition. Trust me, I'm saying to you that it gets better. 10 years along the line, you look back, you're not gonna believe how amazing you will look and how amazing your life will change. So please persevere and be strong and don't give up. 
be your true self. Goodbye. Mwah.